weighted window or weight, weighted MA, you can see weighted moving average filter. And let's check the SHG. See here, the weighted moving average filter has been also implemented. Uh, but if you see very closely, you can see uh, SG filter is almost matching with the peak of this original signal. But all these filters are producing a little bit delay. Of course, these filters are a special type of the FIR filters. So FIR filters have a some delay always. The total number of delay is equivalent to the number of taps upon 2. So if you want to find the delay into the time, just you can divide the this number of type upon 2 by the sampling frequency. Uh, there you will get a total actual delay in a real time. So now let's take the another filter here. Uh, normalized Gaussian filter. Fine. So again let's take the window size. Window is equal to the 7. Okay. And H is equal to the norm PDF. minus window to plus window and zero fix sorry two time of window plus one divided by six Now y is equal to the filter h1 and the input is x. Now if you want to see here filter with the filter coefficient response you can visualize into the filter visualization tool fp tool. So the fp tool is h and then sampling frequency is of course fs just see it into the filter visualization tool what type of filter we are implementing see here how the frequency response is decreasing you can see here at around 50 hertz we are getting almost minus 8 or minus 9 db dk and at 100 hertz we are getting almost minus 28 db dk and at 150 hertz we are getting almost minus 60 db dk okay so now let's plot this y okay using a subplot method and uh, this will be the sixth subplot so the subplot 916 and uh, let's plot the y and also give the title here as a Gaussian filter and then SHG See the Gaussian filter output, the amplitude has been decreased here into the Gaussian uh, filter. Uh, no, no, you cannot say the amplitude has been decreased. Uh, here the amplitude of all other filter has been decreased by little bit. But here the delay has been introduced somehow. You see the delay means the delay has been introduced very much here. You know, if you compare these two signals are this signal with all other signals okay let's uh, uh, let's take the another method which we used for the denoising it is a median filter for a median filtering let's select the window size is equal to the 15 and y is equal to the 
of course midfield one the input is x and the window size will be the window that is 15 already defined and now it will be the seventh subplot subplot it nine one seven plot this y and give the title here as a median filter and SHG see there is the here we have got the filtering using a median filter now so far we have seen here almost SG filtering a smooth method moving average filters weighted moving average Gaussian filter and median filtering okay so now let's uh, see two more methods here a normal filtering and uh, low pass Butterworth filtering okay so we using a normal FIR filtering so we need to first define an order let's define order is 15 sorry something is wrong yes order is equal to the 15 and it's i equal to the fi r1 so here we are first generating filter coefficient so first we need to give the order 0 0.1 that is cut off okay and uh, 0 0.1 is normalized frequency cut off okay it is not 0 0.1 hertz please remember it and uh, window type is rectangular window and the size of rectangular window will be the order plus one now y is equal to filter with filter coefficient h one and x okay first denominator denominator and then input now here we are going to subplot the eighth parameter with the uh, sorry uh, eighth subplot so subplot nine one eight and plot the y and uh, let's set the title as low pass filter and shg see here but unfortunately i have increased miss Missed very much this subplots so we are unable to see here so we are unable to see here low pass filtering so what we can do here we can generate a new figure and then we can subplot there with uh, this noisy signal and uh, DJ FIR and Butterworth filtering so let's first generate a new figure new figure and subplot 311 plot noisy data x give the title noisy data and shg don't give shg for now and let's uh, subplot of the next three one two and plot y here and give the title here as a low pass filtering 
now SSG. See here, this is in YG data, and here we have got the result using a low pass filtering. In the final stage of filtering, let's take the IIR Butterworth filter. You know, earlier we have almost seen uh, seven type of filtering in the last figure. And here this one is the 8th type of filtering which we applied on the ECG signal. Now the final 9th type of filtering we are going to see here that will be the final one Butterworth IIR filtering. So first take the normalized frequency F norm which is equal to the 25 hertz okay FS by 2 so it is a normalized frequency is equivalent to the 0 0.1 which we have seen into the low pass filtering and let's calculate the filter coefficient B and A okay what order is the 10 F is norm Here it is low pass. Sorry, something is wrong here. Okay, F naught. Fine. So now, filter this data using a filter filter method. The filter filter method is a special IIR type of filtering, which uses a zero phase filtering methods. So y is equal to the filter. Sorry, filter filt b nominator denominator and input is x now let's subplot 313 plot y and give the title here Butterworth filtering of course Butterworth will be together and uh, SHG see noisy data our low pass filtering data and Butterworth filtering data so in this tutorial we have seen almost nine type of denoising method we have filtered out noise from the ECG signal so thanks for watching and if you have any problem please comment below and subscribe with this channel for more video tutorial of course subscribing of this channel is absolutely free thanks for watching